Today this video is gonna be about cardiac cycle. All the events that takes place in one complete heartbeat is called as cardiac cycle. Each heartbeat has two major periods called as systole and diastole. Going into details of the events, for the better and clear understanding we are gonna take only left half of the heart because the same events occur even in the right side of the heart. As we have known in the conducting system of the heart that atria are the first ones to contract, let's start with atrial contraction. By the time of atrial contraction, already 80% of ventricle is filled with blood. This is passive blood filling which do not require any atrial contraction. Many patients with atrial pathology like atrial fibrillation can easily suffer for years without suffering from any circulatory insufficiency. During this atrial contraction, only 20% of the blood is forced from atria to ventricles. In this stage, the bicuspid valve, the connection between the atria and ventricle is open and semi lunar wall connecting ventricle and iota is closed. Now the impulses go to ventricles via the conducting system and ventricles start to contract. Due to this course traction, the pressure increases slowly from 0 to 5 then to 80 mm of mercury which is higher than the pressure in atrium and the blood tries to go back to atrium. In order to prevent this, the bilateral valve closes. Still the contraction continues. In this stage, there is increased tension with no change in volume and size of the ventricle as both the valves are closed. As there is no change in volume or size of the ventricle, this stage is named as isovolumetric contraction. During this stage, atria relaxes slowly as it is receiving blood from lungs. The pressure in ventricles reaches a point maybe 81 mm of mercury which is slightly higher than the pressure in iota and this causes the semi lunar valves to open and rapidly ejects the blood from ventricle to iota. This phase is called as rapid ventricular ejection phase. Blood continues to be ejected from ventricle into the iota but not as rapidly as this stage because the pressure inside the ventricles drops slowly. So this phase is called slow ejection phase. Even in the stages of rapid ejection phase and slow ejection phase, the atria still relaxes as they are continuously receiving blood from lungs.